welcome back to the channel back there we got betty she's a little bit dirty we washed up the harley and a little red we're going to like last minute little pop-up meet for block and invited some of the other local trucks here to join us at hooters so we got these all washed up let's jump in them head on over to hooters and hector over there driving the harley and right here riding shotgun Some of us already here. We shut up on time, you know, everybody else is always casually late. It's Friday night in Texas. Still like 97 degrees. It is hot, so we are about to go inside. Hooters, grab some grub, and call it a night. We're hungry and thirsty. I have an adult beverage, I don't know. Y'all ready? Alright, maybe we need to go a little lower in the rear. Maybe. Let's go ahead and pick up on the rest of this video. You know, I got a fresh cut so it makes it easier. Go ahead and plug in my barber, Michael Speedia, and Gold Star Barber if you're in the area, the BCS area. Go ahead and hit them up, check them out. But as far as this weekend's uh, little get together with the trucks, um, it was a small gathering. I really didn't expect too much uh, considering I had made the flyer like three hours before the event. So I didn't really expect too many to show. But still had a good time nonetheless. Once I get to the house, I will show you guys a couple parts that I picked up for the Harley. And uh, give you a little bit of a rundown of what's going on with the Lightning. Alright, the parts that I was talking about for the Harley are right here. We have a what appears to be a Canton overflow tank but they fought off the logo and a JLP um, intercooler tank. This is a street version, has a spot right here for your windshield wiper fluid. These are a bit rough. I got these off uh, Alex from Modular Motorsports and he gave me a pretty good deal. I'm gonna powder coat these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do chrome or black. So let me know what you guys uh, think in the comments down below, if I should go black or chrome. And I'll drop these off at Texas Truck Riggins and get them powder coated, change out these fittings. And the lighting out here, a little bit dusty. I'll go ahead and turn it on, adjust the uh, throttle absolute, and send JJ at Woodbine an auto log. Let him check it out. <laughs> That's how the truck sounds right now. The throttle absolute is reading around 190. Gonna adjust it. See how it runs afterwards. Alright, I adjusted the throttle absolute. It's all warmed up. That's how she's idling now. Chopping now. Gonna let the truck cool off a little bit because it's, it's pretty, pretty freaking hot here. And then I will go ahead and send JJ an auto log. Got the log off, saved, sent over to JJ. Gonna have him take a look at it and see what he thinks. Pretty much why I logged the truck again and want him to go over it is because I currently am running a big old uh, magnet power starter body, which uh, they really don't make anymore and was having a lot of issues with sticking and I've been dealing with this issue for a good while now. So I shipped it over to Magnum Powers, Charles looked it over, um, pretty much took it apart, rebuilt it and shipped it back to me. Got it back in the truck and I wanna make sure that it's all, um, the truck is reacting to it well and uh, that we're good to go there so that once we do get cooler weather, we can hit up the track, hopefully run some personal best and start having fun in it before upgrading to the setup that um, I have sitting in the garage. Uh, I did a video on that, so go back and look and you can see 
what the future plans are for the truck. That's all I got for this video. Hopefully you guys tune in for future videos uh, to see what we do with the tanks that are going on the Harley, what color we decide to do, and uh, any other things that we do with the trucks. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and I will see you on the next one.